I'm Amy Shearer Title, spaceflight historian and blogger behind Vintage Space. The moon is pretty neat. Not only did it help regulate the Earth in its early history, it holds a ton of secrets about the Earth and our solar system as a whole. Apollo astronauts started digging, quite literally, into the secrets the moon holds on the Apollo missions. Over six lunar landings, Apollo astronauts collected and returned over 850 pounds of material from the lunar surface. But only some of that has gone to science. There are a lot of rocks in museums and pieces given to dignitaries. The problem is, Apollo was never about science. It was a political undertaking and a display of national technological superiority over the Soviet Union in the 1960s. And it's been almost 50 years. It's time we go back to the moon. But this time, it's time we go back for science. That's what the Golden Spike Company is trying to do. Using existing technology and some hardware that's still in development, Golden Spike wants to send manned missions back to the lunar surface. Scientists and researchers from any country hoping to do in situ lunar surface experiments. And Golden Spike has the chops to do it. The company is backed by NASA research scientists, former Apollo personnel, and experts in space science. The only thing missing is funding. Through an Indiegogo campaign, Golden Spike is trying to raise $240,000. That's roughly $1 for every mile between the Earth and the Moon. And there are only a couple of weeks left to get involved. Go and visit Golden Spike's Indiegogo campaign page and consider becoming a part of the next wave of lunar exploration. It's time we go back to the Moon. And it's time we go back for science.